Good evening, everybody. Today, I want to teach you how to estimate the value of an irrational number even more precisely than yesterday. I could hear you thinking yesterday, you know, just saying it's between seven and eight, that's not enough for me. I want to be even more precise. Well, you're in luck, because that's what I'm going to teach you today. Write that as the next title, uh, the title on the next free page in your math notebook, then close that up and concentrate with me. Okay. Um, so yesterday we did ones like this, right? This was actually an exact one we did yesterday. Estimate the value of 70, a uh, square root of 70, excuse me. And we started first by saying what is between. So this one was between 8 and 9, because uh, that's the square root of 64, and that's the square root of 81. And that's and then we also tried to get a little more precise and say it's between 8 and 9, but is it closer to one than the other? Is it very close to one, or is it close to halfway? Um, and this one, you know, we said, okay, it's six away from there, and it's 11 away from today. That's kind of how we did that yesterday. I want to be a little more precise today. So I'm going to show you how to get even closer, actually very, 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 very close to the value of this today. Um, from your head, so here's what you do. So same thing as yesterday. We are going to start with what's it in between, just like yesterday. So the square root of 70 is going to be somewhere between 8 and 9, just like we said before. 8 is the square root of 64. 9 is the square root of 81. And the square root of 70 is in between those, like just like we said yesterday. So rather than today just stopping there and saying, okay, it's between those and it's closer to that than it is to that, watch what you can do. Um, to get from 64... B1. If you imagine like how many are in between, there's 65 and 66 and 67 and 68, blah, 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 79, 80, 81. To get from 64 up to 81, how far apart are those? 81 minus 64. Those are 17 away from each other. Right? So I could 64 plus 17 will get me to 81, right? So 17 away a there, right? Out of those 17 to get all the way from the square root of 64 to the square root of 81, square root of 70 is six out of those 17 of the way there. So here's what I would do. To get real close to it, here's a rational number that this is very close to. It's between eight and nine, and the fraction of the way there it is, it is six out of the 17 to get there. And that's my estimate. It's very close to eight and six seventeenths. Let me show you how close and how great of an estimate this is. So what I'll do first is I'll just show you what is six seventeenths as a decimal. So I clear that out and do six divided by 17. That number, which is not the square root, that's an estimate, don't forget. That's not it is uh, 8.353, all right? That's my estimate, I'm saying. This fraction is the same as this decimal. The actual number, look how close it's gonna be. Um, 70 square root, 8.366. That's really, really close, y'all. We're off by a hundredth with that estimation strategy. So that's a way to estimate it that gets you really, really close. Watch me do another one so you kind of get the hang of it. Um, estimate the value of the cube root of negative 20. I do still need to know what it's between first because I'm gonna write that, you know, the last one we did this. I need the whole number and I need the fraction. So I'm gonna start with the whole number part of it. Um, as I kind of think through my negative cube roots. Um, we got negative one, that's the cube root of negative one. Negative two is the cube root of eight. And negative three is the cube root of 27. Is that right? Three times three is nine. Times three is, yeah, 27. And these should all be negative, sorry. Um, there, so I know I'm going to be in here, right? I'm farther than negative eight. I'm not as far as negative 20. So my numer or my whole number is negative two. It's negative two and something. It's in here somewhere. 
So it's negative two and a fraction. To get that fraction, here's what I think to myself. I go, okay, how far away is this from this? You know, how many notches would I be able to make on the number line to go from there to there? Um, it is, let's see, 27 and eight, how far apart are they? They are 19 apart from eight, negative eight plus, you know, plus another negative 19 will get me there. So they're 19 apart and it's 12 of those 19 to get from negative eight to number, negative 20. So I'm 12 19ths of the way to negative three. And that is a very close estimate. It's real, real, real close to that. Um, 12 19ths is that. Um, so that's like an is close to negative two and three six uh, six thirty two thousandths, something like that. Um, my calculator won't do cube roots, but if you check the actual cube root of negative twenty, it's going to be really, really, really close to this. So this is a rational estimate that is much even more precise than we were able to do yesterday. Okay, let's do two in your notebook together. Open that up and let's start with estimating the square root of 20. We did the cube root of negative of 20 in the last one. And let's get super precise here. So square root of 20, let's start thinking of the square roots we know that are near it. Um, the square root of 16 is four. And the square root of 25 is 5. So it's going to be between 4 and 5. So as I make my rational estimate, I'll even write that down here. As I make my rational estimate, the whole number is going to be 4. It's going to be somewhere between 4 and 5, 4 and some fraction, but less than 5. So now the question is, what is that fraction? So remember how I did that in the last one. I look here and say, okay, to get from 16 all the way to 25, those are nine away. Out of that nine, 20 is four of the nine away. So out of the nine steps to get from 16 to 25, 20 is four of them. So I'm going to estimate this as four and four ninths. It's an estimate. It's not exact, but look how close it is. Again, if I do four ninths, it's a repeating decimal of all fours. So four and four repeating. And the actual square root of 20 is 4.47. This is 4.44. The actual is 4.47. Look how close. Very, very close estimate. So that's a great way to estimate these very, very, very precisely, um, even if you don't know them exactly. Let's do one more after you write this one. Um, I like to have a cube root in there too, so you remember how these work. Let's estimate the cube root of negative 10. So uh, negatives, I, I, I usually like a number line. It just kind of helps me make sure I end up in the right place. So there's zero, there's negative one, that's the square root or the cube root of negative one. There's negative two, that's the cube root of negative eight. And negative three is the cube root of negative 27. So I'm gonna be in there. So it's between these. And so my whole number part of my rational estimate is going to be negative 2. And then the question is, what's the fraction? So in my estimate, to get from 8 to 27, how far apart are those? Um, 27 minus 8. So those are 19 apart. Eight, it would take me 19 more to get there. And out of that, this is two of those. 
19, negative 9, negative 10, and then there. So this is 2 out of the 19. So that becomes the fraction part of my estimate. It's about, it's very, very close to negative 2 and 2 19 Super close um, to that rational estimate. I don't have a cube root uh, button on my calculator to show you this, um, but you can check too. But that's where it goes. And y'all, that is how you make an even more precise estimate of a square or a cube root. I hope that made so much sense that you were sitting there feeling like this was nothing to it. Um, if you need to go back, watch any examples again, please do. And I'll see you in all your confidence in class tomorrow. See you then.